At this time, the congregation may be seated, is that we take a moment at this time for our children's message, is that if any children are here present, you may come forward. Otherwise, we will take that moment for uh, those here at present, as well as those online. Good morning, Paisley. How are you? And it's good to see all of the other kids that are with us today, is that... Have you ever prayed a prayer that sounds like this? Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Have you ever prayed that one? Yeah, you, you've heard that one? See, because we're in the middle of Advent, right? We're in the middle of Advent getting ready for Jesus to come, for us to welcome and celebrate His coming into our lives. Now, how cool would that be? For Jesus literally to come and to be with us in our homes, to be there with us at our tables, that he would come over and sit down and we would be able to face-to-face -face talk with Jesus. Would that be pretty cool? Yeah. But today we get a reading talking about the one who prepares the way for Jesus. Is that a guy by the name of John the Baptist. Now here's a question is that would we want John the Baptist to be somebody that we invited over to come and have dinner with? Now, John was a really cool guy. But now, what do we know about John? Is that here John comes to dinner, and he brought a special plate of food to share with you. You want to know what he brought? Is that he brought locusts and wild honey. Do you know what locusts are? Is that they're those things right there grasshopper kind of things. Is that, have you even ever eaten grasshoppers before? Do you want to try? No? Is that, but if you invite John over to dinner, he'll bring that. Is that not only did John eat these strange things, but John wore these, these cloaks, these clothes of things made out of this next animal, is that made out of the hair of camels. Is that, do you think that camel's hair probably is just nice and soft on the skin, or do you think it's all itchy and everything? Yeah, it's definitely that. See, John was a different kind of guy. Is that John was someone who you knew was bringing a different kind of message. See, John was preparing the way for Jesus. It says that he was getting everything ready. Now, when somebody goes and builds a road, do you think that they just lay a road just wherever they want to and just no preparation, just show up one day and they just start laying the road? <laughs> no, what do they need to do? Is that they bring in this great big bulldozer, don't they? And they prepare everything. They get it in the way. See, John was a different kind of person is that he was that bulldozer of God who came and pointed out things that we might not want him to point out about us. Is that he came saying things about our lives that maybe sometimes is that we kind of try to keep that secret and hidden. But John had to prepare the way, and he in everything that he did, from what he ate to what he wore to what he said, is that he called out for us to be different, to be ready, because he's the one who's getting ready for Jesus to come. And so this Advent is that we have to stop and think, well, what in my life do I need to get out of the way? Is that maybe all of those greedy desires of more and more and more? Is that maybe all of that, that anger is that that we get upset or angry when our parents tell us to do this or that, is that maybe sometimes is that we might even get jealous of what somebody else gets for Christmas or what somebody else gets to do, is that John calls for us to come before Jesus and to hear his word about those things that we do, the things that we may not like to talk about, but those things that he wants to get out of our lives and out of his way. And so let's go ahead and let's thank God for sending someone like John to prepare us for Jesus. 
that, dear Jesus, we thank you so much that you prepared our hearts and our lives by sending John to preach your word. Is that help us today to celebrate all that you have done for us, and may you continue to be the one who prepares a straight and, and smooth path that we may always come to you to hear your word, to confess our sins, and indeed to receive your forgiveness. All this we ask in your son's name. Amen. All right, you can head on back to your seat.